how do you know when it's time to start making a new picture? I don't know when it's time to make a picture. The time to make a picture is when I get into the studio. And I don't go to the studio because of some motivation or some person who tells me it's time to go to work. I don't go because I get some spark from the sky. I just go to work and hope something happens. I go into the studio and um, I, I look around at the stuff that I have and I pick something up that seems to be interesting to me that day and then I go from that piece to what might work with it until some things come together and then I move them around, I move the lights around until something begins to work for me. The light comes from behind some of the paper Sometimes the light goes onto the paper, and it's very important to follow the light. And then I take another negative, make another negative. I don't take, I make. The light is what m makes everything work. And this is one of the problems with what I'm doing today, which is making collage and not photographing it. So I have no control, really over what the light is going to do. And that's aggravating. Because light was a very major part of what I used to do. The last photograph I made outdoors was in Rockland, Maine, while teaching a workshop in 1979. Shortly after that, because of an opportunity to experiment with new Polaroid Corporation products, I began making collaged images with my studio copy camera and the Polaroid Type 55 positive negative material, which provided me with four by five inch instantaneous negatives and prints using found materials of papers and torn prints, etc., and several movable lights. I constructed collages as subjects to be photographed. The collages were impermanent and dispensed after an acceptable negative was produced. Much of the first material I worked with was actually packaging the Polaroid film. I mean, there it was, and so I started tearing it up. There were grays and there were blacks, and with the light I could make white reflections and stuff. And so even that was sort of motivated by Polaroid. And then eventually I started bringing other things to the camera. And most of the things were paper and foils and other such. I was already making abstract images. And the more I made, the more I liked it and the more I was motivated to do it. And I always had music going in the background to help motivate me. And between the music and the light and the pieces of paper and the black and white film, stuff started happening. I always liked being outdoors in the landscape, uh, pictorially speaking, because I like looking at landscape and the uh, things that nature put together and uh, made interesting to look at. But I never liked being outdoors physically, because even as a child, I had trouble with heat and sunstroke. So while I was working with collages in the studio, I guess I started trying to make my own landscapes. And so some of the uh, collages I made were in fact inspired by landscape ideas or visions that I imagined that could be made with paper and uh, especially with torn paper to give a sense of a landscape moving across the surface. Um, so a lot of the work that I was doing in those days and still uh, have a reflection of my interest in landscape, which I couldn't do physically. 
When the corporation shut down some 30 years later, my Polaroid Type 55 material was no longer available. I had to make a major change in my activity. Not wanting to use other available or digital materials or methods, I decided that my collages would be my product, now incorporating new materials and pieces of my discarded photographs. The one negative aspect of my new work is that I could not play with the lights. Unlike Cartier-Bresson, I'm not looking for the decisive moment. I'm looking for the moment when things come together in a way that's very different from things in action in the world come together. I mean, the, the, the pleasures come from trying to make things come together and seeing a result that works for me and hopefully will work for an audience. So working in a studio or a dark room by myself in the dark or with lights was uh, very, very rewarding and refreshing because I didn't have to do it in front of anybody. I think there's an aspect to Carl's engagement that's actually very playful. It's very childlike in the best sense of the word. He doesn't um, censor himself. There are times when he would um, get frustrated about uh, something that wasn't working and because I also come from a picture-making background. I would sometimes be able to point out something that had worked in his work and be able to say, why don't you go back to incorporating this aspect? Um, so there'll be times when we're looking at which picture to print and just the editing process. We'll, it'll be a kind of collaborative dialogue about it but he, he, won't, he won't be the one who says, I think I should use this because. I'm more likely to say, I think you should use this because. I come into the studio thinking um, that maybe something will happen. And some days I play around and nothing happens that I like. And then there are days when I come in and things seem to come together in some way that pleases me and I think might invite other people to jump in and see what happens. I guess it is sort of like a puzzle because I'm, uh, um, because it's a puzzle when I start playing with these things in front of the camera that I have to put together in some way, sort of like a puzzle except that the puzzle is something that comes out of what I do rather than there for me to find. The pictures are made to be responded to in any way that is personal to the person looking at it and responding to it. So what I'm doing is uh, responding to things the way composers respond to sound and hoping that there are people out there who will be affected by it in some way that affects them personally and has nothing to do with me, but has something to do with what they get out of the picture. And the only thing I can say is that when anybody responds in any way whatsoever, I'm delighted. Well, start with what appeals to you, whether it's a paintbrush or the colors of paint or the light that works with photography or with sculpture, where light is also important, and jump in and see what happens. As I've said a million times, open the door, walk in and see what 
you see, see what appeals to you, and go for it. And if it works, keep going. Doesn't work, try another door. I think uh, if you find what brings rewards to you, it will very likely bring rewards to somebody else.